So do you fight your inner demons? How do you do that? Um, I use, uh, God, they, they usually win. <laughs> um, they uh, win, the yeah, demons? Yeah, the, the inner demons <laughs> win. It's just, you just wake up and you're like, what? everything until that dog arrived on my doorstep a final gift for my wife in that moment I received some semblance of hope an opportunity to grieve on the law and your son took that from me oh God, stole that from me killed that from me People keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. So you can either hand over your yeah. son, or you can die screaming alongside him! Did you get any sleep last night? I don't sleep. I just dream. We're developing information. You're dancing around this thing. I'm charging three murders. You charge those cases? My investigation folds. And what's more, not one of those cases is strong enough for court. You know that. So we bring the Barksdale kid in, throw a little mind fuck at him, and the case becomes stronger. You've had him in a box twice before. He's gonna go for less a third time around. So we re-canvas, develop fresh witnesses. The case I charge on today can be twice as strong by the trial date. We get a conviction, we roll little boy Barksdale into big boy Barksdale, then we go home like good old-fashioned cops and pound some Budweiser. This is bullshit. It was McNulty himself who made the ballistics match on these murders, and he's telling me to fight this. He knows you don't have a viable prosecution. So do you, so do I. Enough. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? How are you? I'm good, thanks. Good. Uh, the usual? Uh, no. Nah. Look, I don't really know how... I see you in here a lot, and I think that you're really pretty, and would you want to go out with me? Yeah. Please go away. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just You're... messing with you. I'm messing what? with you. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, that that's actually been... pretty mean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Hurt. <laughs> so you want to take me out? I would love to take you out. Uh, where do you want to go? Pizza. Hey, it's a pleasure. 
Good to meet you. And Gustavo Fring of Los Poyos Hermanos. Please, just Gus. Well, get back to work. Everybody knows my name, but nobody knows who I am. They call me Gus. I would choose my next words very carefully if I were Seven cuts. <laughs> Under the table is where shit gets done. And they're about to find out if you cut a king, you better cut him to the quick. So, let me ask you, John, how do you feel? I am really pissed off. You pissed John. Are you? Yeah. I'm sorry. What are you suggesting exactly? Just that people fuck up. We age, men, women, it's not supposed to work except to make kids. So if you can imagine Marty's behavior as an expression of weakness, pain, you see that it's not about you. So end of the day, you duck under rationalization, same as any of them. You must have been a great husband. There will be no drinking throughout the course of this investigation. Your reputation precedes you. Oh, there's the man himself. Benny knows a man who's in need of a drink when he sees one. The very side of it warms my blood. Benny! So Here's to rule. Hard to let go, isn't it? Yes, it is, girl. And that's life. <laughs>